Hey all my crafty creative friends, how are you guys doing today? We are starting a brand new project, woo! And I am bringing you in on the ground floor on how I'm going to figure out how to take what's in my head and get it uh, onto some, some paper. Not always easy. <laughs> um, this is my stamping up uh, page, pages that they have, and it's got inches on one side and centimeters on the other. So it's whatever, at least the one that I bought did. Um, they, they could have changed it by now. I don't know, maybe they don't even have them anymore, but uh, I, I love these things for starting out new projects. And they're also great for if you are a card maker to put designs down, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm not making any money off stamping up anymore, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is the Voyage Beneath the Sea collection by Graphic 45, and I want to do something a little different. I'm looking for something very visual, very uh, nautical. Um, yeah, so I am very excited to, to do this one. So, uh, my thought is having... Um, a box, you know, some, some kind of box. So there's my box. And about, I'd say about four and a half inches up, which this isn't to scale. So I'm just going to kind of do this. I, I will have a drawer. So I'm just going to put a little pull tab there. On the side view, so this is the front, and I'm hoping with this graphic pencil that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, and the side view, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the side view I'm going to have, like right here is the drawer. Um, I'm going to have clear plexiglass in the front. My sides are going to be solid. And I'm going to have a space in the back of this cube behind the drawer for a mini album or journal. haven't really made up my mind yet. Probably going to be a mini album, but... You know, you can do a journal. It, it's the way I'm going to do it. You can still do it as a journal if you'd like. Um, on this little bit of real estate that is creating the drawer, I want to do a beach scene with a treasure chest, and you know, there's going to be cogs and 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 um sand and diamonds and pirate treasure you know that kind of thing so that's what i'm looking at will be on this little section here so you will see it through the clear front piece you will see that and then you will see the book in the back and the way i'm going to do the book it's going to look, you know, that it's going to be shorter in the front and longer, taller in the back. Um, I don't know if any of that makes sense to you. I can see it clearly in my head. So, um, trying to figure out a size for this. Now, I have 12 by 12 uh, medium weight chipboard. So that's good. Leaves me with a plethora of choices, but I have eight and a half by eleven cardstock. I don't I have not looked to see if I have anything equivalent to that, which I could. But I'm thinking the box, I want to make it very nautical. I have lots of twines. 
excuse me, and things like that. So, yes, I probably will be covering it, but I think that I'm probably going to be wrapping uh, some of it with, um, with rope and twine or, you know, something like that. I don't know. I don't know yet. It is going to have a lid on the top. A, uh, a very shallow lid because I don't I don't want to take away from the clear front so it'll be a fairly shallow lid like maybe an inch inch and a half down so I know that I would like to get be able to put four by six pictures into this box you know come across some pictures that I want to put into that book open the drawers, drop them in until the next time you, you know, you're ready to do the book. So, um, starting off with, with that size, uh, I think, and, and working with book, and I have eight by eight papers, okay? So, and I, I, and I only have, you know, one package of them. So I have to keep that in mind too. Okay. So I, I think if I do eight and a half by 11 in the back, so let me, each one of these squares is going to be um, an inch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, eight and a half right there. Um, so I don't know that I want to do quite 11. Um, let's just do eight. Uh, okay, so we have eight, and we're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight by seven. I think that's, this is the outside. Let me seven wide, eight tall. Um, let's do it the opposite, opposite way. Okay, so I'm going to have it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there is seven. And then I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's going to be the back. So it'd be seven this way, eight this way. So, the drawer can be three inches high, which will leave me um, five inches um, I think that's going to be all right um okay so we're gonna do a drawer and maybe maybe let's just do it two inches because remember we're gonna have about an inch and a half down dot 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 that will be the lid and then if I do two inches for the drawer, that's going to leave me one, 
to three and a half. That's not a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an eight by eight box. Okay. See why I like this? Gives me a chance to really look at it before I do anything. So now if I do a two inch drawer, there's my drawer. So it's going to be basically eight inches by two inches by eight inches. So I'm going to make an eight inch cube, okay? So that'll be a very nice size for pictures, to put extra pictures in there, to put paraphernalia in there, whatever, whatever you may want. And there's going to be uh, this ledge on top of the drawer. I might actually have to make two drawers because there'll be a lot of weight on the front of this. And no, it's not going to be eight inches back. It's only going to be four, maybe four and a quarter inches back. So the drawers, I'm going to do two of them. So we'll erase this and we'll put one here and one here. And we're going to put a reinforcement uh, in the center to help hold this weight. Okay. Um, plus it's only going to be four inch, four and a quarter inches back. So then there will be a back piece. But the big thing is, is I don't want, I don't want all of that weight pushing down on the drawers. So that's, that's the big thing. Um, so as we get a little further in, we'll get the drawer sizes more than this, but I'll have two drawers and they're going to be one, two, three, four, well, see if I do the two drawers, I'm not going to be able to do the four by six. Poo poodle head. Okay. So, if I don't, yeah, see, you got to think all this stuff out before you start building it to make sure that it's going to work for you. So, if I don't get to do two drawers, I could build a fascia, you know, like a uh, framed in drawers, and that will give it some more support, uh, uh, you know, across the front sides, and then the drawers would could fit in, the drawer could fit inside that. So I think that's what I'm going to end up having to do. I'm going to end up having to... So I will have a slightly smaller than two inch drawer and we'll have, so we'll have one drawer, but we'll have this frame around the drawer that's going to give the more, okay, so just one drawer. One drawer with frame front. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, one and a half deep lid. Okay. Um, the drawer is going to go back four and a quarter. So four and a quarter deep. Um, 
it will be slightly less than eight, but I don't know how much. All depends on what frame I need um, for that. Okay, so I think that gives us a good starting place. So I can go ahead and do one, two, three, four. Don't forget the bottom. Eight by eight in the um, medium to heavy weight. chipboard and I need four of those and that is the top yeah that's the top the bottom the top is going to be the lid but so the top the bottom the sides and the back so that's five okay one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need five eight by eight. And that will take care of that part. And then I have some fairly sturdy uh, plexiglass. Now, right now it's got the, the wrap on it to keep it from getting scratched and stuff. So it looks blue. It is clear. Um, and I had gotten this for a project and then never used it for the project. I kind of changed. So now I get to use it. I have two sheets here, but um, I think I'm just going to need one. And it's probably going to be because this front area um, where, the, where the box is, um, you know, I'm going to have this frame around this. I'm also going to have the frame around this. So then you're going to be looking inside the box frame um, to see all of the goodies, all the exciting, yummy stuff. Uh, okay. So, that gets me a starting point. I'm going to need five 8x8. Eight eight. I'm going to get out my um, all of my uh, bits and pieces so that I can make the frames to go around the front. I can make the drawer. I can make the frame for the drawer and all that good stuff. So, I will be right back with all of my chipboard and we'll get started. Okay, I am back, and this is what I use to cut my chipboard. Um, it is a Fiskars Rotary, and it is self-sharpening. Uh, um, I had this as a regular, uh, you know, just as a regular cutter. The only thing I didn't really care about it is it's not super easy to read this this. Um, it, it, it only comes out like three and a half inches and then you've got to do all of your reading on this and there's I have tried rubbing black on it before and things it's just hard to read so um, I can't get it where you can see the orange <laughs> but there you go so um, now I have five pieces of chipboard here that are from art books the backings off of art paper. Uh, super good, thick, sturdy, and I've got five pages and they're all the same width. That's kind of the most important thing is that you want each one of them to have the same width to them. So as you can see here, um, separate them out a little bit so you can see. Uh, they are all about the same width, okay? So, I need 8 by 8. So, I'm going to put first one on 8. Oh, these are really thick. <laughs> I might even have to stand up for this one. Nope. There we go. 
There we go. Oh, just a little bit right there. There we go. Okay, eight. And let's see. By eight. That's pretty small, isn't it? Huh. I mean, it, 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 it looks small on paper, but it's really looking small to me now. And, you know, I can go ahead and add a couple of inches to the top of this and not change anything that I'm doing. So I think I'm going to do a 10 inch. How's that? So that's right here. You come down here, and then this is your box area. Much better. Much better. So, see... I have the working knowledge of what I need and then I can actually visualize as I'm going along. Would it work with the 8x8? Absolutely. There we go. Okay, and we're going to save all these because I need to make those frames and this is two inches so that might be great for my drawer front we just have to see I probably will have to cut it down a little bit okay so we're going to do the 8 by 10 8 and I am also going to Do this just to make sure and we are good okay yep it's loose I don't let this move until I know this is loose and then I can move it okay and then the 10 now look at your corners one of them had a lot of the sticky from the book so I didn't want to use that so we'll cut that end off you know that kind of thing so just look make sure you're getting the best side that you want go okay so now I have the bottom I got the two sides I do need to make I do need to make an 8 by 8 for the bottom because I don't want that to change I'm just making it 11 inches tall 10 inches tall. Um, so I still need to make an 8 by 8 for the bottom and an 8 by 8 for the lid. So I need one more 8 by 10. I'm going to have to cut the 10 side first. Let's see. This is the cleaner end. 10 side first. Okay, there we go. And eight. Good. Let's just make sure. Yep. So that is the two sides and the back. Okay, so we have the two sides and the back. 
if I scoot this over a little bit, you can see <laughs> two sides in the back. And I'm going to keep it eight by eight on the top and the bottom. And then the front will require a little more ingenuity. Okay, so let's do... <laughs> my grandson and all his art. <laughs> he has gone on to draw people and dinosaurs and things like that instead of these box people. Um, yeah, yeah. So I was glad to see him move, move forward onto something else. Okay, now this is going to be 8 by 8 There we go. So there is the bottom. So that's going to be... Did I do 8 by 8 already? I don't think so. That's 8. There we go. Still got to get the 8. Okay. Go. Okay. All right. So let's just close this for a second. So we can get an idea of what we're looking at. Yeah. That's going to look very nice. It's not too big. Me. It's not too big, so, you know, it, it's, and it's going to look pretty. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to look good. Then there'll be a drawer in the front, and it'll go about halfway, and then the back part is for the book. And we will put spine side down, so we will have to come up with a way of getting the book out easily because it's not going to be like a regular book book. It's going to be a little different. Um, there will be a spine, though. Yeah, will be a spine. Okay, now I need the, the lid. I, I went ahead and changed from using all of my black because sometimes I like to have the black uh, when I'm not going to cover. You know, if I'm just going to put some something cool on the cover or something, I like to have the black. So, yeah. So I put all that away. And besides, most of these things were not 12 by 12. Um, this particular page was. But most of them were like 9 by something. So, yeah. 8 by 8. Got good corners. So it doesn't matter which side I cut it from. Okay. There we go. All right. So three 10 by 8s and two 8 by 8s. And that'll get us all but the very front. Okay. So the very front. Let's see what I have in bits and pieces here. Now I know my drawer is going to be two inches high. And that is this size, two inches high. So, and then this is eight across. So let's see here. If I take, let's see, is this the, no, 
I will need to chop these down so that they are all the right length. Now this this is good for the front. These are both eight. I need these to be at 11 and I'm definitely going to need at least one more. Okay. Um, I'm going to need a I'm going to need another one of these too. Okay, so these are the same. So I'm going to put all of those together because uh, I need the back. See, we're going to have the sides of the drawer. This, let's see how deep this is. One, two, three, four and a half. So this can get cut down to four and a quarter. I'm not going to mess with this part yet, but I am going to cut this down to four and a quarter. These are going to be the sides of my box. So, is this four inches? Okay, so I'm going to cut uh, two inch pieces. And this is um, eight, I'm assuming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So this is two inches by eight inches. I do not know if that's going to stay the same. So, okay. So let's get this at two inches. And this going to be my drawer sides. Again, I'm not sure about, I might have to cut cut them down a little bit, so don't cut anything yet. But there's my drawer sides. This is my drawer front. And this can be my drawer back. And then this needs to be cut at four and a quarter, and this will be my drawer bottom. So then I will have everything for my drawer, four and a quarter. Okay, so drawer, all good stuff. And this is for the frame in the front, so I'm going to put that back over here. Okay, don't think I need this one. Alrighty, so I need two 10-inch pieces. And I think I'm just going to do these right together. Let's see how this works. There we go. All right, so there is what is this? This is one by ten, and I have two of those. Okay, and actually one of them is a little bit wider than the other one. Not by a whole lot though. Um, okay, so that's the two fronts. See, let me see on a, this is on an old one. So I have, so don't pay any attention to what's on here. I have two fronts, one by ten. 
1 by 10. And then I want just going to have this going straight across and the drawer will slide on that. And the drawer is going to be two inches. And this is eight. So that's going to be six for the drawer. Okay. Um, Let's see, I am going to make sure this one's a little bit, just a teeny bit off from an inch. I don't want it to be any wider than an inch, so there we go. Okay, so those are perfect. All right. Um, I'm going to make the drawer six and one eighth because I know that I think it's going to be okay, but I'm not positive. But we're going to have the two front frames. We're not going to have anything at the bottom. The drawer will just sit there. Then we'll need the top. This is the drawer front. We're going to need the top. And let's see. This is four inches, and this is four inches, and I need, so I got this piece. <clears throat> I need the box to be four and a quarter, so I wonder, I can cut it this way. All right, yeah, just a titch too large, huh? But I'm still going to try it. There's four and a quarter, so that will be the, the top that the box is going to slide under, not really all of that stiff though. Huh. When I first touched it, it seemed very stiff, now it does not. That's not large enough. I'm just looking to see if I have any pieces. I might have to get some book board. Okay, this is very, this is very thick, um, but it's going to be better than that. So four and a quarter. I just need one piece of this. Wait a minute. Let me see how wide it is. Ha! Ah, it is eight. Cool beans. So four and a quarter. I only have to cut this once. This is heavyweight, super heavyweight chipboard, like bookboard heavyweight. I don't even know if my, I don't even know if this uh, goes down that far. Yeah, I don't think that that's very straight either. <laughs> uh, 
let's see. Yeah, four and a quarter and four and a quarter. Okay, let's just get Yeah, because the, the blade on this doesn't even go this thick. That's how thick this is. Okay. So there we go. It is not very bendable at all. So that's very good. So this is the top where I want to build all of this loveliness. So... top shelf of drawer and it's four and a quarter four and a quarter by eight so I hope you can see that okay so the bottom of the drawer I need to cut now actually both of these are probably going to have to be cut to six but I'm not going there until. So again, I will go over the true drawer sizes before you know it. Okay. So this and this will come over like that. And there won't be anything on the bottom. And I'll need a piece across the top, so I need an 8 by 1 inch piece. And I could probably do... a little bit of a lip. because I need to hide the plexiglass. So I'm going to do a little bit of a lip here, which could be anything. I did use all those teeny little pieces I had, but it looks like I still have a few. Oh, poop. Um, that's probably enough right there. It just needs to be a little bit of a lip to hide, um, even if I just start it right there, to hide the plexiglass. Yeah. Okay. So that will only have to be as large as in between the two of these. So again, as we build, we will do that. All right, guys. As long as you have so far three eight by tens, two eight by eights. Um, we've got the drawers, but I'll know more once we get this kind of pulled together. And actually, you really only need right now one eight by eight because this is the bottom of our box. And I am going to get. Uh, I, I am going to write all of this down and show you at the end <clears throat> uh, what we ended up with. So I would suggest not doing it with me until after you get all the final cut pieces. Then you can come back and do it with me and and laugh at me when I, when I do something wrong. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I'm just about ready to run out of time on my video. So next time we're going to start putting this thing together. Yay! All right. Till next time, guys. Bye.